In this QV video, we are going to learn that how you can add images to your TV application. So now let's get started. We will do this by two ways. Uh, so the first way is using the class and the second way is using the QV file. So the first thing we need, we are going to just from image we are going to import image. And uh, now we need to just create uh, the object of image so I'm going to just say IMG so there are two ways that you can load image the first way is that you can use uh, the images from your directory and the second way is that you can use uh, from the internet that's called async image so I will show you the both way so uh, you can just simply add source in here so I've already added an image to my working directory and I want to call it it's it's and its name is my pick dot uh, I think it's GPG and uh, we are going to just return this image so return IMG and uh, now let me just run this Okay. So now you can see that we have our image in our TV application. So now you can do some more with this image. For example, you can uh, set the position. You can say image dot uh, pose. It is a tuple. So we can give the uh, value of 300 and 300. And if you run this, You can see that we have the image in here at the uh, X. This is the X and Y position for the image. And uh, also you can uh, set the opacity for the image. For example, you can just say image uh, dot opacity. And it is uh, between one and zero. So I'm going to give it 0 0.5. Now, if you run this, so now you can see we have the opacity of 0 0.5 for the image. So now let me just now show you how you can uh, fetch the uh, how you can uh, load the images from the internet. So uh, for this I'm going to uh, just uh, copy or not copy just comment these. Okay so now in here the first thing uh, I need we need to import from uh, tv.uix.image uh, dot it is or we can do in here so a sync image here yeah. so we're going to use a sync image for this uh, I'm going to just say IMG a sync image and in here you need to add a source for the uh, image so I have already copied an image uh, like this and now let me just run So now I'm waiting for the image. So now you can see uh, we have uh, uh, our image in here. So uh, like this you can work with images. Now let me just show you using the Kiwi file how you can do this uh, uh, in the Kiwi file. Okay, now in here I'm going to just define a class. I call it my image that extends from the image. So I'm going to just pass in here. And in my image window class, let me just comment this and I want to return my image class. So now in my Kiwi file, I have already created an image window.kiwi. Make sure that the name should be the same as you are this app. Uh, you are this class so it's image window dot kv I want to define rules for this my image so starting with the kv version uh, I'm going to just say uh, write the kv version in here 1.10.0 okay now in here we are going to just say uh, my image and uh, so we need to specify the source so my source is uh, it was my pick dot png 
and uh, if you run this so let me just save this and let me run it so now this time you can see that we are using the kv file and we are receiving uh, the image so there is no image uh, let me just check that where is the problem image window my pack dot p oh sorry uh, we need to specify the image in here so uh, image and we are going to just add the source in here so if you run this this time you will see uh, the image again not image okay guys so we don't need this image and uh, yeah it's gpg not png and let me just uh, add this again and let me just run it so it was wrong so you can see it's my pick uh, dot gpg and now you can see that uh, this time we have used uh, the kiwi file and we have successfully uploaded uh, the image so like this you can work with the uh, uh, images in kiwi